Hey, what's up guys, Psychos here. Welcome back on my channel. <sighs> Hope you guys are fine. Well, it's been a while, I know. I've been busy for several months and yeah, I couldn't release the video I wanted to. But now I got some extra time, so let's do it. All right, new device came in. This is the Dell Inspiron 16 Plus. Uh, I think it, been, it has been released in July this year or something. So this laptop interested me for work and professional stuff like um, office day or whatever, running other stuff. And so I chose the base model right here, the Hi5 11400H, 8 gigs of RAM, you got uh, the 3K display. Uh, I think there's only the 512 GB SSD. That's not the, the base option, but in France that was the base model, 512 is the, the minimum. Alright, so let's go for the review and I'll see you guys at the end.
right, so here is what the integrated camera and the built-in microphone of the Inspiron 16 Plus looks like and sound like. Well, 720p to the minimum. The sound quality looks great. Yeah, it's gonna be enough for this Zoom meeting and you know, stuff. All right, so I'm using this Inspiron 16 Plus since a month, um, every day of my daily driver. Overall, this is a really great machine. I have no issues with it, even with 8 gigs of RAM. I mean, no performance issues. There's nothing I've done that push these things, this CPU or this laptop to its limits for now. Uh, except running primary 5 and overheating the laptop, okay, but uh, every other stuff like regular office tasks, web browsing, uh, even some you know, circuit drawing for electronics, uh, running some small simulation, all this kind of stuff, no issues at all, no overheating, no, I mean, it runs really great, no issues. Um, so the, the top of the pros is going to be the battery life, so 86 watt hour is really, really nice battery life. Um, if a full day, it's gonna give you like eight, eight to nine hours. You basically, I never, uh, I never needed to bring the adapter with me to recharge it or run out of battery during a meeting. It never happened in a month. So the screen is beautiful too, even if it's lack of brightness. 300 nits is clearly not enough. If you work in a very bright room, then it's it's gonna be a problem, right? It's gonna be a problem. Uh, a SD card reader is really great too. It's a full-size one that enter completely in the chassis, so it's really great. 
uh, and the possibility to upgrade laptops you've got two uh, sodium slot that you can change the, the memory module so I just want to warn you if you want to upgrade the memory just be sure to pick the right modules the right compatible kit because um, I personally ordered the cheapest was on Amazon and it doesn't work right it just didn't boot so I had to pick up the right the right modules the compatible ones uh, I checked on crucial.com um, they will tell you the, the compatible module for your laptop for the, the specific model so um, overall the performances are really good as I said it's equivalent this i5 11400h is equivalent to the i7 from last year the 601 10750h uh, yeah it's, it's almost the same specs 4.5 gigahertz at maximum on one cores the turbo speed same same stuff so great performances uh, and yeah I we there's some issues with the thermal uh, limit, um, you know, due to the this bad design because there is some fake vents behind. So that that's something they should have considered because if you're running really high intensive tasks like you render video like all the day, then it's gonna heat a lot, and obviously there is some dissipation issue with that. Um, the key travel for the keyboard could have been a little bit higher, like 1.5 would have been perfect, but. That's okay, that's okay. It feels like the whole MacBook Pro, so it's okay. Um, and yeah, the webcam, it's common stuff, okay? 720p, okay. It's, it's gonna be fair enough for Sunday, but not, not much. And yeah, at the end, it's, it's a fair price, I think. Yeah, good starter, you get a really aluminum chassis, a portable device, kind of lightweight, really nice screen. Follow that for 949 euros or 929 dollars. So, yeah, and if more that you get like student discount or you know all kind of, of discount, well, it's it's just a fair price, I think. Yeah. So excellent laptop and yeah, really great. I enjoy it. All right, so I hope this video helped you. If you guys are interested by this laptop or if you just want to know more. Um, if it does, you know what to do and if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment. Alright, see you guys next time.